Okay. Let's see if we can find this on YouTube. Oh, that looks like it's there. Right here. Over here. Is this just on the Facebook page or is it on the Creative Family? Creative Family Group. Oh dear. In the Creative Family Group, mate. Um, there we go. Awesome. So, this week we're using Tropical Ambience. Let's just get our sequins separate. Really looking forward to using that big U tonight. Night. gonna be fun. Ready out. Fun, fun, fun. Oh. Okay. There's someone here. There's three people watching. Sorry. Oh, yeah. So one of these was meant to fuss cut. So let's put that over there. Oh, let's chuck it over there. Oh dear. This is an interesting concept. Um Janice Power said good morning everyone and Hello Janice. Robin B said hi. Hello Robin, how are you? Right yo. Interesting concept. So, interesting thing is that, well, what was I on when I designed this kit? I was on making sure I got this in the kit. That's all I cared about. Hmm, interesting. So, what are we going to do? Ooh. That's pretty, um, pretty nifty, isn't it? I don't know what I planned. I made this kit a long time ago. This is the problem. Hello, Tammy. How are you? Um, yeah. What are we going to do? We could... I don't know what my plan is for this. What's my plan with the page? Maybe this is the kind of kit where the page must come first. Hmm. Okay. We'd be in all sorts of weirdness trouble here. This is the fussy cut. Too. Universal symbol for snip snip. Let's make a tag. 
How about we go with that? Let's make a tag. So we've got pink flower. I don't think we're going to fit the chameleon on the tag. We might fit this bird. I'll have to make the tag to fit the bird. Hi, Lene. So yeah, I'm going to watch me momentarily do some quick fussy cutting. So I moved the paper, not the scissors, uh, much better. I do hold the scissors awfully tight. It's just a bad habit of mine. I end up with indents in my fingers. Uh, I have to be careful not to oh, let's smooth that out. Um, not to hold my hand on the awkward angles because just because I can doesn't mean I should. My um, I have lots of joint flexibility, and you know, yeah, fingers that bend right back and two of the kids are the same, and two of them are not. So in the car the other day, oh, he doesn't need legs. Um, they were, Amelia curls the tongue. So Amelia and Milton can curl their tongue. Nora and Naomi can't. Quentin can't. Uh, Nora and Naomi have the same wrists and um, fingers, joints, and that sort of thing, and doubles and double joints and places. I like I have. Same wrist thing. You can now? Yeah. Oh, well, Amelia didn't think she could, but she can now. She forces herself. She doesn't have the, the full flexibility. So, Milton and Amelia have a little bit of that flexibility, but. I can only no just walk on one hand. And, um, yeah. Um, Milton and I do Spock, uh, but yeah, the other one can't. Well, I can it's work very my pants. You're doing, are you holding it there? Yes, <laughs> with your other hand. No, look, I can't see through a screen. Oh. Well, there you go. But yes, yeah, very interesting the abilities that kids have. But I do have to be careful that I don't hurt myself. Right. Okay. Let's make a tag. So, how wide does said tag need to be to accommodate said birdie? Uh, three and a half inches. So three and a half inches wide. Oh, that's a big tag. It needs to be like six inches high. Let's do that. This is just a piece of white linen. It's quite flexible. It's not the GSM that they make it out to be. So we're going to cut a six inch by three and a half inch piece from that and then we're gonna white linen. white linen six inch um, six inch by what was the other end Oh, I was sending you emails. Hey, Mum, do you have anything that's oval? Um, yep, yeah, I've just got a customer here. Mum, six inch by three and a half inch.
we can see a screen. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. I'm just replying to someone that's over to pen it and have a nib in it. So, hello, Di. Hello, Mary. Hey, Mum, do you have something over like in Trace Over? No, oh, you need to go and find something in your own stash. Oh yeah. So let's cut one the small section off our piece of gauze. Just gonna remove this small section from our gauze. Oh these are these are my Gundy old backup scissors out of the drawer. Because my good ones are with my art teaching stuff. Let's trash that a bit. So we're just going to gradually build our tag. They are not good. I do try and reply to customers as soon as I possibly can when they have an issue with the product. I just feel it's really important to do that. So let's cut a piece of this number one. Let's cut it the same. Let's cut like a six inch by three and a half inch piece. Six inch by three and a half. Yep. Now we need some of this. Oh, now we cut a lot of circles. Go out, that little bird is tormenting Missy. That little bird is tormenting Missy. I think if we put like a strip of this through here, like a chunk of this, let's just. I'm going to tear a chunk of this. So we're going to tear a chunk of this that is uh, about two and three quarters, paper. paper two, two and three quarters by five and a half, sort of like that. Let's get this stick. So I'm going to cut out. 
cut a bit of stick. Okay, that's just shorter than the width of our tag. I'll tell you how big it is in a second. So a bit of stick's going to be like just over three and a quarter inches wide, just like a hair's breadth over our three and a quarter inches wide. Okay. Okay. So let's get our tag. Let's measure three quarters of an inch in from the top corners. And let's go an inch down on the sides. Something a bit different. So three quarters of an inch in. So this is three quarters of an inch in, and this is an inch down. Is that the line? Yeah. I did that on the front, okay? It's okay. We're not going to see it. So I've got that on the front, and then I've got the front of my other piece behind. And then we're going to cut from where this line intersects the edge, not from where the line is, but where the line intersects the edge. A lot of times, like if I get the measurement not quite perfect, it's because I've cut where the little mark is, not where the little mark intersects the edge. So my Facebook memories came up today. And it is 10 years today since I got my braces off. It's pretty interesting. 10 years today. I had braces for three and a half years. Okay. So let's remove our little marks. And let's get an edge distressor. Oh, let's really trash it. Trying to really destroy it here. And on this one, I'm just barely going to rough it up. So I'm barely roughing up this piece. So I'm just raising the edge. Awesome, Lee. I hope you're enjoying your work from home day. And then on our, let's just distress our torn bit, our torn chunk. And 
just roll some bits in. Just gonna mm. oh, I a dark Oh, geez, that's a bit bright. Okay. I've got a burgundy, a dark pink, and a navy. The navy is specifically because there's a bit of blue on here. I really do want a dark green. What dark green are you looking like? I wonder why I don't own a dark green. Lucy. Hmm. Maybe we need to make the color. Egg pocket. Let's put some pink onto our fun word. And then on different places we'll put a bit of a navy blue. See if it works. Does it look okay? Mm, maybe, maybe not. Add some little touches of the Jesus is very wet of the apple green. Like that. Mm. It's got a little bit of green. If you had a different green, it would probably look better. pink around. And then a little bit of navy in a couple of places. I'm not going to see much of this. Some little swipes of green. Let's swipe some green on this. Oh, geez, I've gone a bit far. Well, there we go. We've got green now.
do I need anything on my stick? For the tiny bit of pink on our flower. And nothing on our bird. And then let's just, just rub a little bit of blue here and there on our gauze. Let's get some tape. And we're just going to put some tape on the back of our... Do you know how sometimes when you're headed out somewhere and, you know, like you're headed to an event and someone goes, oh, you know that card you told me to whip up or you know that card you told me to get? Oh, I forgot to do it. Or, oh, mum, I'm just heading to a 21st with a bottle of wine or I'm just heading to a housewarming. Can you just um, whip me up a, um, a gift tag? Or the night we had to make a tie-dye shirt? Yeah, I've made tie-dye shirts late at night. I've done all sorts of things. Hmm. I do tie-dye with acrylic paint. Okay. Let's chuck this one on. Let's just put a strip of our wide 24mm tape down the middle. And just have it stuck in the middle so that we can then sort of play with dimension. Mm, actually, no. Because I'm going to have to glue it in any case. Let's just use some paste. Um, Tanya D said, love, love, love this. Nothing scary till you brought out the paper. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So let's get like down to like very little paste on here. So you can see there's very, uh, focus, focus. Very little paste on here, see? Just, it's only a tiny bit of paste. And let's just scrape a bit of paste around. And do you know why we're doing this? Because that way if you get a bit of paste where you shouldn't, you know, it's okay. Because there's paste in a lot of places where you shouldn't. It's about justifying the existence of mess. But not in a bird. A little bit of glue. Let's 
plastic. And let's put a little bit of glue here and then put a couple of sequins on because we've got them and they're green. They're the right green for that ink pad that I just went ballistic with. Uh, if you haven't had a hunt around in the albums, the albums are there for January. Here in the Creative Family Group. And there are... I think you're going to like it. If you're an Alice fan, you're going to love it. Don't know who Alice is, you need to go and read yourself. Alice in Wonderland. Or watch a movie. It's easier to watch a movie. That's a beautiful book watch the movie. The book can be a little scary. Oh, I know. Search it up. Oh, I found the book a bit scary as a child. For me, at least, not going to read it, probably. But then, mm, at the age of 11, I was reading Shakespeare, so. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's see that a little bit there. Paste to hold that down. See, the paste holds down these bits, but I've got paste on my fingers and glue on my fingers. Let's put a little tiny bit on our fun word. Oh no, let's not put it on our fun word. So you know how I had to um, bang this? So I bang it straight down on a flat surface, which is the top of my desk over there. I've got a spot. When I bang it straight down, what it does is it cracks the um, paste that around here that has glued it shut, right? Because that's paste that's glued it shut. And then what happens is it um, brings it all to the top. So I don't have to scoop down in it. I can just grab out the little bit I need off the top or out of the lid and then away it goes. I probably should remove all that because all it's going to do is glue it shut again. Oh, I don't know why that flipped. Right. It's a bit weird there. Oh, I've got that. Okay. Sorry about the chicken. She's laying an egg. Either that or a friend is laying an egg and she thinks that she should be laying the egg. Chickens, who knew? Okay, so let's get just glossy accents in here and we're just going to put some on his eye oh geez that one's that it's got um just had a bubble in it just make sure it's going to come out without a bubble there we go There we go. So it's got a nice shiny eye. It'll dry, dry nice and shiny. Geez, that's like the quickest class I've ever done. <laughs> and I was sniggering over here. So the younger two kids have conned their way into a day at home today. You just stayed in bed so that you were too late to go to work. It was five minutes before leaving for work time and you were still in bed. That's you didn't even wake me up. That's when I woke up. You were hiding too. Care of yours. No. Oh, I I usually stay on your I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to make one simple statement. Not my first rodeo. Because you had other two children. Who? Oh, and this child that already did it. And this is his, like, 15th time or any time. Not my first rodeo. Noah. Why are you drawing on dad's Look, he's having ever made many comments today. You know, in the last year, or since the 1st of January, 
there have been oh what was it let me i, I, I just think you guys will yes. be interested in this this is really interesting It's just because it makes me Noah's designing um coffee cup. Prints. Why would you put things on a coffee on a coffee cup? Because you're saying someone's in um She's a fan. She's a fan of that thing. She's a fan like of a band or something. Yeah. I just think this is really interesting. Um this one. So since the 1st of January, So since the 1st of January, in this Creative Family group, we've had 26,308 comments in the group. How psychotic is that? And 957 of the members, I think there's just over 1,100 or something, 957 members are active, have been active in that time. Not, yeah, 1,200 people. And nine, 1,210 people and 957 of them are active. That's pretty. That's and 54,091 likes, hearts, cares, you know, reactions, you know, like when you like something. Um, things, I do the hearts. And 1,956 posts. Maybe that's not a good number. Maybe we need more posts than that in from the 1st of January till today. That's pretty interesting. I just thought that was interesting. You don't need to know why I was in there looking at these things. Some of you will find out. <laughs> she knows. Because she knows everything. That's amazing. Must be. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you, Janice. I don't know if it's the classes. I just think it's you guys are an amazing lot. You're just such good friends to each other. That's cool, Cheryl. I hope you had a you're having a good Christmas holiday, Cheryl. So there we go. So you can take a screenshot. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. So that's how it easy it is to whip off a tag. So notice how once I started creating, I sort of ink the tag and ink the other things and then I kind of tried to make sure and I should have said something about it I tried to make sure I kept my tag away from anything messy um so that the back of it's clean that you can write on it still standard quid kid kite yep yeah. and and what's standard teenager quote uh, a bit of a shoulder, single single shoulder shrug. Um, thank you, Mary and Janice. Thank you, Tammy. So there we go. So um, holiday trading hours are in the group on the Facebook page. I haven't put them on the shop page, on the shop yet. Um, I'll put them on the front door of the shop tomorrow. I'll print it out, put it up. Um, so, yeah our um, holiday trading hours are up, but classes will continue. So remember, so this week is Tropical Ambience with this kit, and then next week is Scrapbox Week. So next week's going to be Scrapbox Week. Um, we're fairly prepped kind of here. we just got a pile of stuff to use. We've organised our art supplies ready for some crafting. If you read the email last night, you'll know that we were organising our art supplies on the weekend because we're going to do some art on the holidays. Um, and we're not having a huge break, but we're having two short breaks. Um, Milton will be home this weekend, so we're going to try and spend as much time with him as we can this weekend. What else was there? New kits are up. 
I'll do a reveal video this afternoon or tonight. We'll have a reveal video where I go through everything in the kits with you guys. So that's our January kits. Um, I think you will like them. I like them. I can't wait to use them. I have been dying for this week to turn up so I could use this really big U tomorrow night. I've been waiting to use that, waiting forever. It feels like forever. Um, so because I design what goes in the kits a lot earlier than the kits actually go up um, before we even pack them. What else was there I had to tell you? So next week is scrap box week. New kits are up. I'll do a reveal video this afternoon or tonight. Um, oh, Friday night this week I'm doing fluoros. I'm answering. I'm trying to get, I don't know if they're going to get delivered on time. I'm trying to get some more stock of the fluoro paints in uh, I just don't know if they'll arrive, if the freight, because we've had a lot of freight issues just recently, although ink cartridges arrived early yesterday, um, late in the afternoon, but they arrived a day sooner than I thought. So I'm going to use these. I am using Tropicana, but there will only be a little bit of Tropicana, I think. I'm going to use these fluoro paints, and we're going to make a super bright, because that was one of the fears and frustrations was how do you make a super bright scrapbook layout? There was one, how do you tone down a bright background, but how do you make a super bright scrapbook layer? So um, I'm going to do that Friday night. I haven't been getting emails. Okay. Um, Lee, do you want to messenger message me your email address and I'll have a look? I think you're in there more than once. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that you're up to date. Thank you, Robin, for having Christmas in... Mackay and then Townsville for New Year. Oh, awesome. That sounds wonderful, Cheryl. With family, of course. Sounds really awesome. So you have a fabulous day too, Mary. Um, four days to holidays for me. Today's Naomi John's last day of work for Storm Boy for the year. She doesn't go back to work until somewhere around the 9th. Um, we will be going back to work on the 2nd. Um, we're going to have a lot of orders to pack just so you know, and I'm going to have to check your emails, Lee. Are you getting no emails at all or just some emails? I'll have to chat to you. Okay, so take care, um, stay safe, and we will see you all this afternoon for our, or tonight, early this evening, I don't know what time, for the reveal of our um, January kits. I'll do the whole, open them up, show you everything that's in it, and you'll hear them bit about the motivation behind why I designed what I designed. Kit emails. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to double check your email address is correct. Because you've got two profiles. Better make sure we're using the correct profile. Do you want to say goodbye? I was going She's to... She's still in her pajamas. I was going to ask Thank you, if Tammy. I could um, use your gold pencil. Good night. Good morning. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> that one's hard. That one's hard. Okay, right? what gold pencil? That gold pencil we have in the tub somewhere. Lisa, yeah. It's in emails. the spinner up there. Kit emails. Oh, when your kits are ready to from the online store. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. But you're getting the weekly emails. I'll have to find out. So thank you all for coming along. Um, take care. Stay safe. Love yous all. Um, and we'll see you sometime with Sabo. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.